welcome friends uh, today's topic is about uh, how to draw mushrooms uh, and this is a very simple topic so i have did some prerequisite work already okay but uh, then i will first uh, show how to we go about drawing the mushroom and then uh, i have added a tortoise also here uh, so that um, we can uh, you know it's like uh, uh, it appeared to to me like a similar shape say like this so first we'll draw a curve like this then a wavy line okay then this line like this this line like this okay and then a line like this okay so uh, and similarly uh, there will be some spots like this here on top of this okay here there will be some spots like this and say the tortoise also if you see it will be like a curved portion like similar to this like this then a wavy line like this okay and there is one more wavy line like this okay and then if you see the type of marks are there on the shell like this okay so this tortoise is in front of the mushroom so the mushroom this particular line will not be seen okay so like this it is there now here see it should appear that the neck is emerging from inside the shell so you should draw a line like this so uh, here if you see we draw a line from here like this and like this yes, and make it look a little happy also now that the neck has come out of the shell so like this and this will be the body and the shell there is a shell beneath also here okay so this is one leg uh, where the detailing won't be seen much like this. there are some nails like this on the body there are some yellowish spots like this okay and then this uh, the front legs uh, of uh, the uh, tortoise there are like some flaps and with some nails on that but these are like for you know maybe for swimming also like uh, the <coughs> tortoise does move in water also a lot okay the behind legs will be like this then the lower case which is there like this like this you will be having some not that type of mark but this is also quite a solid thing okay like this and then again some nails here and there okay so um, once this is done uh, i got uh, you know a small video interruption uh, when i was doing this video so uh, it, like uh, i had already painted so much of uh, a part okay there was some internet disconnection so that is why it happened that way but see uh, these are this color if i just show you once again is a blue and you paint it this way Okay, pull the color, paint it this way. Okay, like this. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. So that is the first part, uh, which uh, is quite simpler. Okay, and then here we have used a, a, a basic, uh, say, a layer of uh, lemon yellow first. And then a uh, little bit of um, crimson. Okay, so let me add a, a little bit of yellow for uh, your demo purpose. Uh, this is lemon yellow. I'll take a little bit of lemon yellow like this. Okay, and then just add that uh, lemon yellow here like this. Okay, Th this portion. And then once you add that lemon yellow, on top of that, when it is wet, you can add a little bit of crimson color. Okay, a little bit of crimson. So let's add uh, here uh, a little bit of crimson. Okay, you can take also uh, some crimson color like this. Okay, take out some 
will film okay, like this. And then after putting the base, uh, a, a, a lighter tone of crimson, I can then now add on that some more crimson like this. This will make it a little darker. Not the entire portion, somewhere here, which is not much exposed to the top. Okay. So, like this, you can do. Okay. And see the way I'm applying color is uh, not uh, uh, in a flat, flat color, to just to uh, see to it that we obtain a shape of this. Okay, we get a shape like this. And then you can just pull out this thing here in the TLS. Like this. Just a little bit. Uh, this top portion should be much lighter than the uh, base here. Okay, and then we can add some more to this mushroom also, like that. And uh, it's more of a wet on wet technique. So the low, the, the paint which is there is a little wet so on that when you lay the second coat of paint uh, it becomes uh, i mean it, it travels on its own because uh, in watercolors uh, water is a carrier okay and see these ones uh, if you have missed this thing this has been put in pastel so yellow pastel and that's it okay so See, water will uh, get resisted by the pastels, and then we'll get a very nice paint like this. Okay. okay. One more color like this. Let me just take a napkin. Okay, let's uh, clear it. And we can lift also color. So suppose uh, if this color has gone too far, to so say you apply water, you just clean it with a clean the brush with an napkin. Okay. Like this. A little bit of color. This is a very normal uh, paper, so maybe um, it will not uh, give that layering of color very properly. So, if you must have seen my video on how to draw pairs, so where I had uh, shown in the demo. Uh, the paper which I'd used for doing my original painting, uh, that was Archie's uh, great paper, and then uh, it uh, like painted the same, and then uh, it, uh, there is one for TLB. So that on that paper you get fantastic coloring effects. So I'll do some you now. Presently, I don't have that paper. Uh, almost did a lot of points. So the paper is part finished. Uh, maybe sometime later when I prepare the paper back, I'll be able to do this. Okay, now this part is uh, over. Now let me uh, just do the bottom portion. Is uh, I can take a little bit of. Uh, uh, if you don't have necklace yellow, then you can say mix a little bit of. Uh, it may be a white, but I mean, you will not get the exact color. I mean, there are some colors 
which uh, don't need uh, that they should be there to so that is how the paint effect comes out right? okay so i can just paint this portion with a no necklace yellow like this okay the yellowish Then we'll always find when we do a paint uh, where uh, at a place uh, where the adjacent paint is little wet, we'll find a little drop. The color traveling from one part to the other. Maybe we should try and avoid that. Okay, so. Here, uh, when we are doing the video, we have to go a little faster okay, because uh, I, I don't like to do uh, those time scale videos uh, because uh, then there are so many things uh, which uh, everybody skips. Okay, so let me take a little bit of one tumbler and mix with this. Color to do a color here like this. Because see again, this is in the shadow zone. Mm, I have taken one number because it's a art color. Uh, nothing really particular about that color. You can use even if yellow is there, you can use the complement of yellow that is more like and paint it. Okay, so let me clean the brush a little bit. Okay, and then you can just pull this portion of like this. Okay. So similarly here also you can quickly do this. I can go a bit faster here. But if you are seeing the way I'm holding the brush, it is like pulling down, down like this. Okay, and then Doing a lighter color here, a lighter color here, a much lighter color here. Okay. A little bit of dark when it is near this here. Here it can be much darker. Okay, and then we just again clean the thing. So this looks more sturdy than this guy. So we might have to also. Will it be? Same here. So just uh, do a little bit of grade of color. And I'm just pushing the color to the, let's uh, say, to create a little bit of, uh, yeah. uh, not exactly a highlight, but a brighter portion on that side. Okay. And then once we finish that, we we'll just quickly finish. The background uh, color, and that is uh, for that purpose, I'll take around the brush. Okay, and then with uh, Viridian Green and uh, a little bit of Crimson, okay, a little bit of Crimson here, okay, and uh, just mix that two colors, okay, and then once you mix those two colors, you'll find uh, it starts getting much better. So that is how we darken the color. So uh, not to add black, you add the complementary color. Because see, uh, dark green is uh, for the complementary, uh, or uh, for that matter, green, see like this. It's a nice dark color you get. Okay, So what your color got traveled uh, on the outside, uh, I think I have covered it up. Uh, we can show some bushes here also. These are basically at the background uh, that, uh, you know, which are not uh, very much exposed uh, to the light. So that is why you'll find here a lot of darkness. Okay, so 
and the source you will find like a lot of dried uh, portions here so they will obviously not uh, give you the actual color which is there or rather it will be that resultant color of uh, because the leaves have got dried uh, uh, in this uh, I can add a little bit of uh, one tumbler also because uh, I give you the reason that it, uh, one tumbler will take the color towards uh, maybe a little bit of uh, towards the browner side uh, or say maybe a darker browner side and the reason being that uh, it's a dried portion, the lower portion. You see, it's a dried portion, so because of that, you'll find. So, I'll take a little bit of burnt umber, okay, uh, I've kept it here, okay. Actually, that is not burnt umber, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sorry. So, burnt umber, and then see, uh, maybe I mix, so see if we get such a nice, thick product. Green and a nice mixture. So that is how we create. See here, uh, if you have noticed that I have not added black to the whole process. But then, in complementary colors theory, uh, the, the two colors which are there, like say suppose the crimson is there and green is there, which the green happens to be the complementary of red, uh, crimson, and uh, that when we uh, and basically green is a, a mix of uh, yellow and blue so then it becomes all three primary colors together and uh, when all three primaries and that is in pigment mixing not in uh, light mixing in light mixing uh, when you uh, you know mix the three primaries will get white okay and uh, uh, when you do mixing uh, in pigment mixing will get uh, black okay so that is how the theory works so this is how uh, i'm just getting the some sort of foliage is what i'm just doing behind this okay. so that's why and it's not exactly a mountain it's like filled with uh, a little bit of greenery Okay. These are the rocks which are there. So you know, uh, I just wanted to create a focal point on the uh, the uh, on the mushroom. So that is why I created a valley effect here. Okay. So now let's uh, finish up the painting quickly of the rocks. So, okay. So let me take a little bit of burnt umber. Okay. Uh, one number, uh, and uh, after that, a little bit of one sienna also, and then my one sienna. Yes, one sienna here. Yeah. Once uh, we get the colors in place. Okay, I'll take a, a rounded brush, uh, sorry, a uh, flat brush like this and just paint it. See. See, like this uh, is there. Okay, you can put some water here. Okay, and then just put some paint. This will show some uh, random rocks 
that side. Okay, similarly, this side also. And take a little bit of same. Then we can take a uh, little bit of one sienna here, and then uh, you see that uh, there's a little bit of brightening of uh, it uh, because uh, one number is pretty dark. dark. Okay, like that, and then. Same here. So see, watercolors uh, has to be done uh, more uh, by what you have in your mind instead of uh, you know really uh, trying to paint, looking at a scene or something like that. Okay, it's uh, like uh, maybe some place, some rocky area I must have gone, and so I remember some rocks like this, and see some bushy area like this so that is why they are getting this color like this, this okay. now let's paint uh, the rocks uh, below here in method just a little bit of darkening uh, and the sides like this a little bit darker this in method here Look at darker here like this, uh, darker here, darker here like this. Okay. Similarly, a darker paint. Here again, I'm doing a little bit of uh, reverse of uh, what is the rule for. Uh, watercolors. Uh, for a simple reason that uh, I wanted to create uh, a tonal effect uh, from dark to light. So this way. It's over here also. And I'm just laying the color. Okay, so with a very nice uh, rocky look. Yeah. Okay, yes, uh, here also we do the same thing. But then, uh, see, when you do tonal paintings, tonal paintings uh, you uh, basically do from light to dark. So there, uh, you cannot use this. But here, I'm trying to obtain a particular uh, way of uh, getting the color of the rocks in place. So, and that is why. Otherwise, uh, I added a little bit of green also here. In that so, a muted color. Okay. Uh, well, so here also, yes, like this. So, let us see. Beautiful and nice. So, uh, see, when we mixed uh, viridian green and uh, crimson, you'll find you get a bit like of a, 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 a muted green sort of thing. Okay, so that is how we get uh, this portion in place. Now, here we'll do a little bit of yellow occur because the base. Uh, 
it's like a little bit of muddy portion. So we do a little bit of yellow. Okay, so I'll take yellow of the color. Okay, my plate has gone very dirty. Yeah, I have to clean it. After I finish this painting, I just clean the fill up this. Okay, just uh, let the color travel a little bit more there. Somehow I tend to hold the book a little slanting. I'm a left-hander, so and, uh, to, when we're painting in a book, generally uh, it is a small habit which I've developed. That that's why you'll find uh, most of the time the book a little slanting in the video. Okay, but uh, that really does not matter because finally the Paint which is coming on the painting is right. So it's pretty cool like this. Okay. So like this. Uh, and uh, once we now let's uh, concentrate on the tortoise uh, here. It is uh, I'll just take a very, very small brush, okay. A very small size brush, and uh, then do a bit, uh, do all these. Uh, this is maybe a medium size brush here. Here it is. So I use that. Okay, and then take a little bit of gamboge. Okay, and then just paint off those areas. These areas. Okay, these areas. Okay, these are the yellow areas. Okay, so let's take. The yellows. I hope you are enjoying the video. So, uh, in fact, you have to paint along and to see the video because then only then you will understand how it has progressed. Like this. Okay, so then there's a little bit of dots also here on the body. Uh, here also there will be a little bit of lighter color and some dots on the legs portion on this body portion a little bit of like this okay and then we'll uh, do the rest of the part with uh, one tumble okay so I mean these portions are one tumble These portions are burnt under. It's 
so you have to keep painting keep painting okay and then uh, once we finish this uh, you will have to do a little bit of outlining part also will be there then uh, there will be a little bit of grass which i have to show which i'll show with pastels so i'll show you how see here also the yellow part we could have did um, in uh, pastels and then put this uh, uh, this darker color uh, with uh, you know, the same that we are doing so you never find tra color traveling like this so that is why uh, you know we sometimes do that method of uh, This we can keep doing by protecting the units. Okay, you have to uh, be very careful when you are painting this way. Okay, so like this we can do. Keep putting the color like this. Okay. Keep putting color. Keep putting. There is a second leg portion, which uh, generally what happens is uh, in such type of painting, they vanish in thin air. The dots. Okay, and then probably you can, you know, after it dries completely, probably you'll have to do it once again on that to you know, obtain a very nice boundary. So the final drawing, which is there, that you'll find uh, in the thumbnail. So you can always download that and to see uh, what is the. How how will be the actual uh, picture uh, look like the final painting? How will it look like this? It's also shell beneath this. Okay, and uh, then after this, uh, we can take a very small thin brush. Okay, and then uh, put a little bit of black here you know, in the eyes portion. And say the names. This one right here, a little bit of nails like this. Okay, nails here, like this, here, here, here. It's very simple when we say uh, the drawing is of a mushroom only, it will you know, not give you much uh, you know, painting effort as such. Okay. And then probably you will not enjoy it also. So that is why I added this tortoise baby here. Okay. And then I will show a little bit of. Very, very light. Like this. Okay. And then once we finish uh, all these things, then with pastels, uh, we can start doing. Uh, a little bit of grass like this okay so we can take leaf green I take light green okay and then see uh, see the method you should see now okay it is like press it and go up like this see press go up. Yeah. 
this here. The paper is not all that dry, so that's why uh, it's resisting the page spread a little bit, but then uh, it, will, it will look good once you see the final drawing. See like this. So the two in you know, a paint grass, you give pressure, go up so like this. See. Like this. Press go, press go, press go. So you can just fill up this area with a little bit of grass. Pressure, leave, pressure, leave, pressure, leave. A little small, small on this. Just a little bit of grass. Can take some more lighter color also. Just to show some you know, very fresh grass here. Okay. Yes. Like that. So we uh, can take a little bit of sap also and just show. A little bit of grass. See, I'm just pressing, lifting, pressing, lifting, pressing, lifting, like this. So this is how we build up actually a painting. Like see, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift. See like this. So once this is done, okay, we can now. Go for a little bit of outline of pencil. Okay, so we take the pencil, okay, and then outline a little bit of this portion. Just talk to the sun. Same way here. So you see the final drawing, uh, okay, uh, in the thumbnail, or say the final video, okay. So I hope you understood and enjoyed this painting. Uh, I think you should be able to do it nice and fast. Okay, thank you very much.